yourself and that the rules are reasonable and that they are being administered in ways which are beyond reproach. Now I have to say that uh, I had that experience on quite a few occasions last year, uh, but I'm very pleased that from uh, application to the Therapeutic Goods Administration uh, to listing on the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme, uh, the drug Herceptin uh, went through that process in uh, record time and is now available uh, on the PBS uh, to those 2,000 HER positive uh, women newly diagnosed every year. Uh, I have to say that... Uh, I personally felt uh, that uh, for all the inevitable problems uh, that people face uh, dealing with our health system, uh, for all the inevitable imperfections uh, in any human system, uh, the swift registration and listing of the septum is uh, yet another sign that our health system is fundamentally sound uh, and operates to the great benefit of the people of Australia. We uh, know, because Helen has told us, uh, that breast cancer rates uh, are increasing uh, dramatically. And it's precisely because uh, breast cancer rates are rising so fast. Uh, diagnoses uh, have gone from some 5,000 a year uh, to some 12,000 a year uh, over the last two decades that we are spending so much as a government and a community uh, to try to tackle this disease. Over the last six years, some $55 million uh, has been invested by the National Health and Medical Research Council in breast cancer research, and uh, some uh, $35 million uh, has been committed to the National Breast Cancer Centre uh, over the last decade. But as Helen has pointed out, uh, this money uh, has produced good results. And uh, over the past two decades, uh, five-year survival rates have increased from 71% uh, to 86%, uh, while the risk of diagnosis has certainly increased uh, the chance of a woman dying before the age of 75 from breast cancer has dropped from 1 in 43 two decades ago uh, to 1 in 56 today. So this is all good news, but we can never be Complacent. I'm a little disappointed that uh, there's only a 56% participation rate uh, in mammography screening. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that so many of us still, out of uh, a misguided sense of stoicism, uh, don't go to the doctor uh, as soon as we detect problems. Now I know in an audience like this, uh, an audience of highly intelligent, highly committed people, um, the last thing you need uh, is to be preached at uh, by a health minister. Uh, but there are 800 people in this room. Um, it's very important that the message go out from this room to all of those women who aren't here this morning, uh, go and get screened, and if there is a problem, go and see the doctor, because the last thing we want is more tragic statistics in the months and years ahead.